The show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. He's knocking to go out, so I'm going to go let him out. So you, you guys can start. I can hear everything. So Okay. Little, my little, my Lily is falling apart. I really need to get a new one. Yeah. Yeah, her arm is like literally. It's it's. It's not a. Oh, it's ugh, stupid thing. But like the the, the like her, her there hand is. is fall. Yeah, it's like falling off. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it. Lydia, no. And her hat broke, and it's a whole mess, so... Like the real Lilia, falling apart. She's fine. <laughs> out of all... Dylan, out of Lana and Lilia, you really fucked up Lana way worse. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, See, this is because, it's because I've had I've had the ability to fuck her up since the beginning, you know? So it really opens so, avenues. So we're live. For the oh, first oh, time hey, in, a, in hey. what, a month on my channel? Yeah, it's been a while. I don't know who you are. <laughs> who are you, people? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to, to Scotty underscore Hood, the amazing uh, TTRPG streaming oh, channel. And uh, welcome to another session of the Chaos Cruiser Continuing Adventures. Um, the couple last couple sessions were on uh, Jeanette's channel over Hi. at Uncanny Adventures. The um, last session. Yeah. Well, was it just the last session or the session before, too? It was yeah. the last two sessions. Thank you. Oh, okay. um, I can't even remember. <laughs> so, last time, uh, the Chaos Crew descended back into Undermountain to uh, the lair of the Butterfly Witch Arcturia, a master of transmutation who doesn't like the party at all. <laughs> Not one bit. Um, I don't know why. Mm, well, so she activated, of course, a weapon of mass disintegration to destroy them once and for all. Uh, and now the Chaos crew are racing against time. There's a counter in the corner and everything uh, to claim six keys that they need to deactivate the device before they're all, well, disintegrated. Um, so far, the party has claimed two uh, one from a giant Halister statue, and the other from uh, Spite Harrowdale, uh, their old pal Kumar's older pal. Um, they know that there are two more keys that are held by a pair of feuding, feuding genies um, who both will basically have said, I'll only give you my key if you bring me uh, Arcturia's blood bag, uh, which Lilia ran into last time. There's a dude in a chamber that appears to be like warded to keep him inside of it. However, Lilia, when she tried to break said wards, uh, failed. So, hmm, it'll be harder than uh, it seems to get him out if possible. Uh, and then the other two keys, I already have no clue where those are. Um, but Patience and Airely, you two had just met a married genie named Ick the Glug, who, you know, told you, I have a key, and did a whole song and dance number, and then uh, said, surely you'll bring me the blood bag, and not that loser on the other end of the Ooze River, um, before showing you a secret passage behind some seaweed to who knows where. Uh, Sunspot and Solaris, meanwhile, had gone into a cave where there was a tea party going on, uh, where Arcturia and a bunch of people with different animal heads were having tea. And Solaris uh, had, she fell prey to a, a polymorph trap and transformed into a mixture of an Otiug, this big mouthed cookie monster like uh, trash monster, and a wyvern, which is of course a type of dragon with a big stinger at the end. That's really what we needed artwork for today. I, mm, hmm. I might have to draw that actually, it's a good idea. <laughs> um, oh gosh, terrific. Um, 
<laughs> but uh, Solaris has been going around uh, eating the party guests who have been glued down to their chairs. Uh, Sunspot has been fighting some other party guests who uh, one of them, a person with a dingo head, actually betrayed the other ones uh, and is fighting alongside Sunspot. Um, and then Lilia, like I said, she had found Arcturia's blood bag in a upside down fungus library uh, and tried to break the seals to no avail, however. Um, so let's start with Patience and Airily. Yeah. Like I said, you guys had uh, just met Ate the Glug and were headed down a secret passage to somewhere unknown. Um, oh. Airly has freedom of movement on her. That's right. Airly has freedom of movement. Always important. Yes, I will note. Okay. Um, so you guys head down this passageway, and the sort of uh, sticky sort of cavern floor transforms into like tiled floor. Like suddenly there are tiles going. And uh, you enter what looks like a enormous uh, ballroom. And when I say enormous, I don't mean like, oh, it's just a big room. Like, I mean, someone took a ballroom and like pumped it up like double size. Um, and there are different colored tiles all across the floor, huge columns um, that look like they have actual like creepers like going up them. Um, and oh, man. are sort of flying in the air. There are a pair of blue skinned giants uh who look like they're wearing a, a suit one of them and a dress uh that are like made of scales um and uh they're like oh darling i love that maneuver oh yes you're so good at it oh spin <sighs> they sp you're spinning in the air and doing their doing their thing as you enter what would you like to do Patience is going to try to avoid getting them to notice him. And, um, oh, the little early mini. Um, and is going to try to get to the other side or some door leading out of here. Mm, there is, in fact, a door on the other side, yes. Okay. So I would like you to make me a stealth roll. At disadvantage. And at disadvantage, exactly. Hmm. Took the words right out of my mouth, Scott. <laughs> nice. That turned it from a 16 to a 2. Oh. <laughs> so, Airily. Yeah. <laughs> Patience steps out onto the tiled floor and is just, like, trying to sneak. But it's like the episode of South Park where Cartman thinks he has, like, invisibility powers. And he just gets naked and, like, tries to sneak by and everybody sees him. It's basically that, and the two the two people stop dancing and like look down at patience as he's just scooting along. You can hear his footsteps on the tile very easily. Hmm. <laughs> and the two giants look down at him and are just like, "What is this?" Hmm. Hang on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna run up to Patience and start waltzing <laughs> with him. Mm, very good. Okay, the the two giants watch as you just run over, grab Patience and start and they're like, oh, fabulous. Oh, goodness. Uh, your dance moves, mm, they're pretty good, but they might need a little work. Uh, um, let them do a performance um, check. Do uh, that. Um, er, 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 well, early, uh, what, they'll say that. What are you doing? That regardless. And Patience looks genuinely Fine. confused with a four total on his insight. Mm. Just follow my lead. <laughs> okay. Don't step on my feet. <laughs> I would like both of you to make performance roles. Do you think in my family he would know how to dance? Um, I'm gonna use uh, uh, indomitable. <laughs> indomitable on performance. I love it. Yeah, you would think Arlie would know how to dance. Yeah, 
performance. Oh, she has plus seven. That okay. Um, so <laughs> uh, that's a twenty-one. Twenty-one. And he's like, uh, okay, twenty-five. Whoa! Wow, we okay. So basically, what's gonna happen here? The blue dragons or the blue giant dudes? If we're not Uh-oh. dragons at all. Uh oh. <laughs> Slip. Uh, slip of the draconic uh, tongue. Who would have known? Um, the blue people with scaly clothes. Um, they. I would have not have known. <laughs> well, you know, they they. I, I have no idea. Know, yeah. Are watching you. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, they're like, oh, well, your dance moves are pretty good, but uh, I think they'll need a little work. And uh, they say, uh, if you can impress us. Which, honey, they're already sort of impressed. <laughs> they didn't impress us yet. If you impress us, we'll give you, and they pull out of their pocket, a key. They say, we'll give you this little key here. And they look up at the timer and say, I think you might want to be quick on your feet. And they put the key back in their pocket. So what are we talking here? Waltz, quick step, foxtrot, what do you want? <laughs> oh, let's do it all, honey. <laughs> the floss, come on. The, the, floss. the Brooklyn shuffle. <laughs> I can't. The hot of shake, the water the deep wazoo, the Tony pepperoni. The Tony pepperoni! I can hold down if you want. <laughs> but, can you, but can you throw down and hold down, Cal? Ooh, mm, well, that's the real question. Put it all can together, do- that's how we roll. <laughs> no. I got you, Aya. We're basically. <laughs> we're basically going to do here is we're going to do. What's essentially in uh, Savage Worlds is the dramatic task where you have to get a certain amount of successes before you get a certain amount of, of failures. So kind of like a skill challenge in 4th edition uh, D&D as well. Um, while these dragons are essentially going to fuck around with the floor and the ballroom to try and see if you can keep up, you know? Okay, I, um, I'm going to immediately... Mm-hmm. Cast bless on me early because I do not have proficiency in performance, and I'm scared. Bless. It's just a D four. A D four. Actually, wait, no, wait. Oh. Bless doesn't matter for this. Never mind. Oh. It would have been. I needed guidance, which I don't have. Well. All right. So early is freedom of movement, which is good. I'm coming handy. Um. So the first thing they do, you know, as you guys are waltzing. They uh, suddenly, they tell you, uh, you know, we're going to make things a little more interesting. And they snap their fingers and start (laughs) shimmying along through the air as the tiles on the floor begin to electrify (laughs) at random. I remember this part in Undertale. (laughs) I would like the two of you to either give me, oh, geez, performance roll? An acrobatics roll, a perception roll, or an investigation roll. Either of those four will do. I'm not proficient in any of them. Oh so my I'm god. I'm gonna go with performance. I was gonna say I'm good at all of those except for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing Airly is leading. I'm straight up raw talent here. That's it. <laughs> here we go. Yep, that yep, yep. The dice balance themselves out. A 19. 19 from Airly. Patience. An 8. Performance. Mm. Okay. So, uh, since on the first roll, the 21 and the 25, both of you got over 20, I'm going to give you two successes each for those. And then for this one, Airily, I will say that you had a success. Unfortunately, Patience did not. So Patience, yeah. uh, you, <laughs> let me see here. Oh boy. Uh, you're gonna take 30 lightning damage. Oh, that's all. As you know, Airly is trying to lead here and like, come on, let's go. And you try and follow the steps, but you step out of out of sync 
and step on one of the electrified tiles and it just <laughs> up your whole body through your metal armor, just really oh. sizzling you. It's not good. And uh, the waltzing giants are like, oh, come on now. Surely you can keep up. Uh, so let's cut over to Solaris and Sunspot. So you guys uh. are going to the tea party chamber. Uh, the Atiug, Wyver, and Solaris, you've eaten three people and uh, have made your way down the tea party table over to where Arcturia is sitting, uh, which Sunspot, I believe last time, you took an animated teacup and you threw it right at her face. Yep, uh, right at the face. As she tried <clears throat> to disintegrate you. Um, so she, you know, gets hit and sort of wipes away and you see like just butterflies like fall dead off of her skin as they like flake off. And you see like there's like it's just sort of empty inside. It doesn't look like she has anything inside her. It's just butterflies. Same. I'm also <laughs> empty inside. And just full butterflies. And then meanwhile, you know, um over uh by you, um there is the iguana headed dude, the stork headed dude who are fighting you. Um, and then the dingo headed dude who is fighting with you, as well as animated tea party stuff, teapot, you know, doily. Um, mm. So I think we should roll initiative for the two of you. Just to Ooh, okay. see what we get here. Did not roll very well. Lovely. I got a 12. A 12? Hey, I also got a 12. Whoop. Wow. Okay. What's your bonus to initiative? Plus five. Mine's plus four. Okay. So it's going to be Sunspot, it's going to be Solaris, and then it's going to be me. So, Sunspot. You. What would you like to do? I'm going to keep hitting Iguana, dude. That's yeah, that's fair. <laughs> he I'm, is pretty putting, wounded. So. I'm putting Tear Light away, so I'm just going to do unarmed punches. Got it. So I get three. First one's a 12, and I think that misses. Yes, it would. Plate armor psh, deflects your fist. A natural 20. That'll hit. Uh -oh. So a 30. Mm -hmm. And the last one is a 14. The okay, 14 won't make it either. That nat 20 does. Do I roll on the table? Oh, the table. Good point. The table. The table. The table. The table. La table. The table. The table you can find in Xanathar's Lost Notes. Yep. To everything yes, else. That's everything else. That's the same one. Holy cow. Okay. I was half paying attention. Uh, is this critical hit or critical miss? Critical hit. 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 Okay. Yeah. Roll boy. All right. 71. Uh, oh. Okay. The target has disadvantage on attack rolls to the end of your next turn. Nice. That's just what I needed. Okay. So you punch a Guana man, and he has this. And that is 16 magical bludgeon damage. That just decided to hit him. His little iguana head, he spits out an iguana tooth, and he just sort of goes, ah! um, he's not happy. He brandishes his weapon. Uh, however, before he gets to go, uh, Solaris, it's your turn. What You're is the giant... name of our tea party hostess again? Arcturia. Arcturia. Yeah, I guess she's closest, right? Yeah. All right. She I... she also has like blue scaly skin and like bone spurs coming out of her arms that are like blades. Uh wearing a dress, wearing a big conical hat with things dangling off it. She, she looks like a chew toy. The... Definitely a chew toy. Yep, I'm gonna she bound over there. Okay. I think I get what, three attacks? A bite and two tentacle lashings? Yep. Alright, and I've got a plus six to attack, and if I hit I would do what, two D eight plus three? Yes. All right. I remembered things. Look at me. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, Let me all right. pull up her stats. So yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna bound across, and then I'm going to bite for a 17 to hit. Yes, that's exactly what you need. All right. I'm going to whip a t <laughs> tentacle for a 25 to hit, and then I'm going to whip another tentacle, but that's only a 9. So one tentacle and one bite. So the bite... Yeah. Let me see if she even notices she's busy looking at sunspot okay i rolled at her 19 
I think she would notice giant coming over. So she will actually throw up a shield. So only the 25 will hit as you come on at, come on at her. So I, I lunge in with the bite and bounce off the archaic symbols and then lash her with a tentacle. But the other tentacle is use, I'm using for balance, so I miss. So I do 12 points of damage with that hit. Okay. And I'm gnawing on the arcane symbols of the shield still as just because i want to bite and i can't she growls and she says you don't know who you're messing with pet i don't so cool that's true <laughs> can, can i talk in this form or am i just like actually completely lost? yeah and atio can talk what's so. my what do you think my intelligence is oh it's probably about a seven or eight not too too high not too too low hmm I think I'm just like, hmm, lunch. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay. Ollie loves lunch. Then we take it to my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I think what she's gonna do is she's going. Hmm. Does she want to attack Sunspot or does she want to attack Solaris though? I, mm, I think she wants to attack Solaris or Sunspot, honestly, because if she hurts Solaris, it might break the polymorph. She does not want. That is true. So she's going to move on. away from Solaris. She's going to like kick up off the table, knock her chair over, and take to the air with her big butterfly wings. Can I try to chew on her? As I say, she is going to provoke an opportunity attack. I, I'm already chewing on the symbols. I'm going to try to bite through them, but she still has the shield. So here we go. Uh, or Is it the start of her turn that goes away or at the end? It doesn't matter. I miss with a 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, until <laughs> I, the start I'm of just, your next turn. I just bite at the open air where she was a minute ago. <laughs> I've got that sad, like, you know, puppy dog face where the toy's not where I thought it would be. Yeah. So she will... Oh... Pointing at Sunspot, I need Sunspot. I need you to make me a ooh, a Wisdom saving throw. All these spells, god damn it! Oh no! She's a high DC, maybe. Does a twenty-seven help? Yeah, that'll make it. So she tries to cast a spell on <clears throat> you. You hear like a boop, boop, boop spell spell sound effect. Uh, but it just sort of washes over you, which actually this might be an area. Let me see. Up to six features of your choice. I'll make one for Dingo Head too. Let's see. No, not Dingo Head. Oh, am you I, got a twenty. Well, am I oh. in the area? Heck yeah, Dingo Head. Um, you know what? Yeah, actually, she would cast it on you. It's a forty-foot cube, so what's I need my, you to make a wisdom save. What's my too. wisdom save, Dylan? Oh goodness. Uh, let me just look up <laughs> what an Atio's wisdom is. Please tell um, me. Not good. I don't imagine it's very good. Uh, let's see. I think their highest of the mental stats is intelligence, and it's like a six. Yeah. Well, actually, wisdom is the, their best. It's a mm. thirteen. They oh. have a plus one. Okay. Hey, plus one. There you go. Whoa. So, okay. Well, I get a seven. Is that, well, well, that'll still fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you are the only one to fail this, which Shocking. works in her favor. Shocking. Um, your speed is halved. Oh. You take a minus two penalty to AC and dex saves, and you can't use reactions. <gasps> Am I um, slowed? You are. Oh, uh, on your turn, you can also either use an action or a bonus action, but not both. So there you go. I like how if it worked on Sunspot, his half speed is just normal people's speed. Just normal speed, yeah. <laughs> That's is enough. He is he constantly in the speed force situation? Like, <laughs> just like seeing everybody's going super slowly. He just run circles around them like fucking Sonic. Gotta go fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's his name? Um, Iguana Head has disadvantage on his attacks, but he's gonna try and. Let me see. 
Okay, all of them are going to the sunspot. All right, that makes sense. So the first attack, that'll be a 17 to hit, which I don't think does it. Nope. So he will swing around. The second attack also misses as he tries to get you again. And then he has his third attack, which is a critical failure. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn it. All Whoa, right. that D100. Uh, that is a 17. Oh, that's not bad. Um, a random consumable magic item determined by the DM falls and breaks. Oh, his little healing potion on his belt falls and, and he's like, oh, shit. My mom got me the healing potion. My mom bought that. Okay. And then uh, Storkhead, I think, let's see, he attacks. Okay, two on Sunspot, one on Dingo Head. So I'll make Dingo Head first. Uh, that'll hit on Dingo. And then they get Sunspot. I got a 19 plus 9 on 1, which I, I would assume hits. Yeah, that'll hit. And then I got a critical failure. So let me roll on the table another again. Another critical failure. <laughs> I got another 17. So same thing. If they don't have his anything, health nothing potion happens. also drops. So he has a health potion on his other side. And I, I am imagining Dingo Head and Stork Head, they like both swing. And they both basically knock each other's health potions off their belts. That And they just... Psh, psh, break on the floor and they look at each other and stork head goes ah! and iguana head goes ah! <laughs> so uh with the attack that succeeded uh that will be d6 or yeah he does not have more than half so um six seven, 13 that'll be 13 slashing damage okay see gets you with one of them um so and then dingo head has his attacks let me see which of these two he's gonna go for okay so two at Bona head he's already way wounded and then he's gonna do one at stork head uh one will hit 16 dozen and then the last attack against Oh, throw my dice. Uh, that one will hit too. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Bingo head is not looking very good. And neither Stark head, honestly, with that. Shoot. All right. So, uh, Dingo head swoops around, hits both Iguana head and Stork head with his weapon. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to cut over to Lilia. Lilia. So you have just tried to cast Dispel Magic on the wards around the Blood Bag's uh, boudoir. Um, the Blood Bag's bower, if you will. Um, and it failed. It failed miraculously. Spectacularly, mm -hmm. even. Um, Shut up, okay? I, did, I rolled bad once on my life on Arcana. Don't do this to me. The wall of light that patients had summoned in this library, I think would probably go away with the the 30 lightning damage, I would assume. It doesn't really take damage, oh. but I would have to roll a concentration check here, right? <laughs> I make the check. Oh, holy crap! Because okay, it's okay. DC 15, right? Yeah, I got, okay. I got so, 19 on the dice. The wall of light is still up. They're carrying crawlers with hill giant heads who are blinded and getting hurt. Um, and you're standing there with uh, Thagor the Umberhalt, uh, Umbiump, Thagor the Yeti, and Kuriyami. There's only three of us. <laughs> Why is there so many names? <laughs> well, Umbi, Umbi the Umberhalt, Umbi, um, yeah, Thagor yes. the Yeti, and Yami, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you. And me. Okay. And you. Well, I, mm. <laughs> I don't think it worked. Yeah, yeah. I, Thagor is not skilled in magic, but Thagor also not think it worked. Yeah, I don't think it worked either. Right. Umbi, Umbi suggests she looks burrowing through. 
She looks really tired. She's just kind of like... Oh. <sighs> Alright. I guess... Umby says, I got big claws and I can just burrow on through. Who needs well, magic wards when I can... <laughs> well, if it's magic, wouldn't it be all the way around? I don't know. I'm an Umberhulk. <laughs> I've Maybe been in a try. boot for two years. You, you can try. I mean, like, just All be right. careful. <laughs> just starts digging through the uh, the earth here. The big old, big old claws. Uh, which, the only passage in had been that little, like, yeah, little passage. Uh, so he does dig a significantly larger passage in. Um, however, I will say the noise would probably attract the attention of the carrion crawlers. So they all like look that way with their their hill giant heads, even though they're blinded, and start skittering that direction. What would you like I to will, do? I will make bigger sounds on the other side. Ooh. Okay. A uh, me. Make me a stealth roll. Bigger sounds. <laughs> stealth? Yeah. Just see if you can throw off. Okay. Away from you. A 10? A 10. Mm, let me roll. Uh oh well that, that's huh. I rolled two twos and two sixteens. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so two of the carrion crawlers are distracted and go the other way. The other two continue this way. Um then, Yeah. So they come towards you, Lilia. Um and I will roll see who they attack. They're a little. So one will attack you, one will attack Yami. Easy, easy. Cool. And they have disadvantage. Important. Uh, so that'd be a eight to hit you. No. And hit Yami also at eight. Okay. So the carrion crawlers come at you with these heads ringed by paralyzing tentacles and completely miss because they're blind and they're blinded by the wall of light. They're just trying to figure out where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so. And then Umbi, of course, he digs the passage. What would you like to do, though? I'm trying to figure out if there another way to get him out of there. Um, mm, I don't know. Is there, like, any, like, I don't know, wards on the walls or, like, any, like, Hey, well, yes, that's what you're trying to break. Like, okay, so, like, is there, like, <laughs> I don't know, off-button directions written on there, or, like... <laughs> no, there's, there's not can a... I try to can I in try case to, of emergency. Like, yeah. No. Is there a fire, like, safety <laughs> uh, system in, in place? There is. There is, but it says, it, in case of fire, leave them in there, so... <gasps> what a fucking bitch! Um, I, um, <laughs> in case okay, well, of ooze volcano, also leave them in there. Is there, okay, um, can I, can I try, like, fake, like, it, I'm trying to think if, like, we, like, would Octoria have to, like, dispel it, or is it, like, a thing that, like, just is gonna take time. What do you mean? Like, do we need to? Do I? Does she only have the key, or do we need to? Uh, oh. Like, or do um, I just need to wait it out? Or do I know if like patience or somebody else in the party has dispel magic? <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has dispel magic. Okay. Well, otherwise we're fucked because... Well, I was going to say, yeah, you don't... I mean, this seems like it's a permanent warding effect. You don't think it ever comes on and off. No. It's pretty much always on. You would assume, since you had no trouble getting in there, 
she probably just goes in and gets the blood and then gets out. I mean, mm. the only the only thing that is warded inside of this room is that dude, evidently. Mm. Alucer, that was his name. Uh... And Yami says, uh, "You no. said that." You said that the, the genie wanted him, right? I mean, they both want him because both of their contracts were made with his blood. Hmm. And, and we I can't, don't know what to do. And we can't do. get him out. No. Hmm. Not unless I take a nap. <laughs> I mean, Yami, Yami looks at the, the timer and it's like counting down to like five, halfway down now. He's like, mm, I don't know if we have time for that, Lilia, but I don't, maybe don't later. Think, I don't think we have time for that either. It's a real problem. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> well, let's cut back over to patience and airily then. Uh, so you guys were dancing on the electrified floor. Um, I'm fine, I'm fine. Now, now the tiles are starting to like rise and fall uh, in like a, an undulating pattern across the floor as the, the two blue skinned giants are, you know, dancing above you, uh, making their steps sort of match where the little tiles go up. Uh, oh, so. Oh my God, this is an NSR. <laughs> Uh, I would a, like it's a video game to make oh gosh I want to say athletics acrobatics hmm I'm trying to think of other skills that might be relevant performance a uh, performance yeah and then probably perception investigation again you got to make just all of those or you choose... no just one one of one of any of those yeah Athletics Ahoy. 14. 14. That was a success. Uh oh. Natural 20. 29. Whoa. Okay. Well, that is. Patience jumps with all of his might and Airely just bends her big toe. She goes 20 feet in the air. <laughs> wow. We. Okay. Uh, so you successfully navigate this field of undulating tile pillars and uh the waltzing dra uh giants are like uh oh my look at them honey i know quite amazing goodness hmm how about this and uh they all both snap their fingers and both patience and airily you are transmogrified into ball lightning and now have to dance as lightning. Uh, so. Hmm. Wisdom saving throws. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> you just have the to new... feel the room. <laughs> Is this the Mario game on the Switch where you turn into a little lightning current on the line? <laughs> yeah, you threw a little cap onto it, and uh, here we go. Um, so I think for this, what would what would be a lightning skill? Dexterity. What, just because uh, we'd be going so fast, it'd be hard to control. That's a good. Yeah, you know what? Let's do dexterity saving throws. That's a good, good, good idea. Because you're just. I don't think either. Of us... all around the room. I don't think either of us are good at that, but it just. Oh boy! The most sense. Why did you suggest it? <laughs> because it made the most sense. And that's it what does matters. make sense. I like it. I would have gone with intelligence because you're nothing but sparks of electricity, like in your brain. Oh my god. Yeah, I am a dramatic bitch like that, so. <laughs> Plus, it would be very funny. For very me? funny? <laughs> very funny. It would be very funny. Is there any way that we could take any other actions instead? Yeah, I'm You're a think. ball of lightning. Like, can we still use our abilities? Yeah, I would say you can use... Oh, what do you mean by abilities? Like, I was going to cast a spell. Oh, sure, you could try a spell. All right, I cast Bless. Okay. Early at that D4. Wait, didn't you cast Bless when this whole thing first started? No, because Bless only works for attack rolls and saving throws. Ah, but this stuff fair. is going to be for skill checks. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh. 
But now that we're doing that, I'll do it. Okay, that helped. I actually helped. I rolled a four on it. I got a 15 total. A 15? Hmm. But you are like. Deck saving throw? Yep. Fifteen? Uh, Fifteen? Fifteen club. Mm-hmm. Okay. We both explode into plasma. Okay. So, uh, you know, as you guys are <laughs> jolting around the room, uh, the two dragons are like Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, they match each other perfectly. Oh, isn't that wonderful, darling? Just like us. Oh, and they'll they'll kiss their their big fat uh, giant blue faces together. And there's lightning that just off their lips. Um, and uh, they'll continue to waltz. And uh, the one will pull out the key from their pocket and uh, they'll flip it up in the air. Uh, for you to catch. So I would like both of you to make me sleight of hand rolls as you try and catch the key. Don't forget your d4. Oh, yeah. Actually, it wouldn't matter for this, but whatever. Seven. Seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, my goodness. All right. So both of you, you know, like arc up together, whoosh, try and get it. Uh, and airily, you like produce a lightning hand and grab the key, and you and patients both turn back into yourselves as you sort of float back down to the floor. I think oh, you was just flustered that girl touched him. <laughs> you holding uh, the key aloft. Woo! It's that key. was fun. <laughs> it's a key Olaf. The key Olaf. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, so you both drift down to the floor and the two giants are continuing to waltz in the air. Uh, and you do see the door across the way that you saw before, Patience. Uh, Patience doesn't even have time to celebrate. And he's just like, we got to get the other keys. And he like puts his arms under under your arms early and he's just like flying us out. Okay. Uh, so meanwhile, back at the tea party, uh, Sunspot. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Dingo Head has struck both Iguana Head and Stork Head, as have you, going at it. Um, I would say the animated tableware has probably, probably she probably broke concentration on it, honestly, because she she started uh, slow. So they have all just sort of <laughs> shattered on the ground. Um, the Solaris monster is attacking Arcturia. Um, what, would you, what would you like to do? And she flew up, right? Uh, yes, she did. Oh, good. I can see her, so I'm gonna fire off four radiant sun bolts at her. God damn it! All right. First one. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven will hit. Second one. Fourteen. So that probably doesn't. That will not. No. Twelve doesn't hit, and twenty-eight. 28 will also hit. Oh, gosh. Okay. So two hit. <clears throat> hmm. Does she have anything for this? I don't think so. That is 18 radiant damage. Okay. Is that just... Well, hmm. She's going to use a legendary action at the end of your turn. Okay. Jeez, uh, what she want to do here? Yeah, let's just do that. Um, I need Sunspot and I need Solaris to make me constitution saving throws. What's then... my bonus to con? Ooh, oh, Atiog for it's probably pretty good. Uh, let's see. It's a plus seven. I got a 24. Damn, yeah, you're fine. Okay, so I'm using my diamond soul to re-roll that because that was not a good roll. Forkhead is the only not much better champion. That's an eleven. An eleven. That'll fail too. Okay. Uh, so uh, Dingo Head and Iguana Head made it. Solaris made it. Storkhead and Sunspot not so much. 
Um, you'll still take half damage on that success, though. So it's one, two. Uh, this is not a good roll. Uh, three, four, five. So uh, Sunspot and Storkhead will take uh, 15 necrotic damage. Okay. Um, and then Solaris, you will take seven. How many total hit points do I have as this creature? I should also check that. Total hit points. You have 114. Oh shit, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> oh boy. Uh you have one less hit point than Lilia, so like <laughs> Archug's a beefy boy. Uh okay. So Iguana Head and Storkhead do not look good. Storkhead looks even worse now than Iguana Head did. Um Solaris. Uh, it's Hi. your turn. What would you like to do? <sighs> Arturia is sort of flying up above you. Um, and uh, the champions are, you know, fighting with Sunspot across the room. Okay, so what's my speed? Ooh, uh, I keep closing the Autog stat block and I shouldn't. Oh, you need to keep that guy open. Yeah, why? I, that I don't know. <gasps> he can. Actually, uh, how do I spell it? I'll look it up. O T Y U G H. O T Y. Okay. Just do control All right, let's. It's thirty. Thirty is thirty right. is the regular speed. So. so how? So she's too high up, I would assume, for me to get to her, right? Let me see. What kind of reach you got? Um, um I've got a reach of ten would. feet with my tentacles. Yeah, she probably's flying just out of reach. Okay. How far? How? Close is the closest other thing. Oh, not too too far. Let me see. Within fifteen feet. Yeah, I would say so. All you right. Could well, reach him. who is that? Oh, it would be one of the champions. Basically, all three of them are in a line around Sunspot. Mm. Well, so it's I either the... Dingo, I... Iguana, or Stork. I go to the nearest one. Holy crap, I have limited telepathy. I'm staying in this form. This is great. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to go to the closest one. Just a real slow lumber because I'm tired. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to bite it because that's all, all right. I can do. I just lumber over and just... Ah, uh, that's a nine. Nine, that will not hit. I just, my mouth closes, and I'm still, like, five feet away from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just sort of sidestep. I didn't yeah. quite, I didn't quite get there. I'm just, I, I thought I was faster. Like, I'm a little surprised. Uh, so this now raises an interesting question of who to attack for them. Uh, let me see. I want to head the stork head. Wait, I, I do, head. I do poison damage? Do you? Dude, there's a whole step block here like constitution Damn. saves if i bite you every 24 oh, hours yeah. the whole, oh man the whole reason for the poison damage Bill's fever is it's kind of like um it's a way of doing damage for disease because they're just yeah. they eat such gross stuff yeah it's i, I mean it's I'll, basically I'll anything at this point it, this is basically filth fever from older editions yeah yeah, yeah. interesting okay sign your member just in case that's right. You you've basically just eaten everybody, so it didn't matter. But yep, yep. Good point. It's fair. Uh oh. Okay. So let me see. So I guess they would attack Sunspot then. Also, the I'd like to say with limited telepathy, and I can send messages, but things can't receive. I'd like to think that Sunspot's getting like a running like, yummy, chewy. This is tasty. Ooh, this guy tasted funny. And Sunspot, you can't respond to any of it. I was just like, what? <laughs> Caroline's <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so that's why I was just like, am I hungry? <laughs> uh, wow, these guys. I'm pretty sure they got critical failures last time, too. And that streak continues. Uh oh. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, that's an 87 on this critical failure. I think one of them might hit Sunspot, though. 23? That it hits. Okay, so one of their attacks hit. Um, 
87, sorry. I was... <laughs> okay, okay, 87. Um, you're going to have to reroll that following attack because that crit fail was so wild, it takes a moment for them to recover. They have disadvantage on their next attack. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's going to be... That's going to be a 16 instead. Nope. Oh, my God. All right, so... Iguana Head is just going crazy here and completely botches his own assault. Oh my god. Uh, and then Stork Head is also going to go for you. Uh, okay, that's better. No critical failures. Um, yes, I think two attacks will hit then. 17 is the, is the lowest there for the before modifiers. Um, so he is at below half, half health. So he's not going to deal as much damage. But. Okay. The 27 slashing damage in all. Okay. What is their attack bonus? Just because I got a high. Is it AC. plus nine? Okay, then yeah. Yeah. Let's say. Is it 29 uh, damage? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is what they do. Arcturia, I think. <laughs> I think she's just gonna fly away. Um, actually, actually, no, she already did all of her legendaries. Yeah, she'll just fly away. She's gonna fly out of this room down a side passage um, that appears to descend downwards, and she's just gonna. <laughs> flutter that direction. Uh, her sort of humanoid shaped butterfly swarm uh, with a harp following after her playing harp music. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, let's let's stick here. Sunspot, what would you like to do? Are the champions doing anything? <clears throat> they, like, do they, they start like following they, her or are they still no, just like square? They look like they are committed to holding you back here. Make good their mistress's escape. Since we're tied, Ty, can you can Solaris go? Because I'm trying to like figure out my sure. options here. Uh, Solaris, in that case, what would you like to do? Well, I'm still slowed because I made my I rolled sure. for my save and I failed with a nine. Um, so I'm just going to try and bite the thing that I just tried to bite. Okay. Natural 20! That'll do it. All right, that's going to be... Oh, boy, and I got to make con save, as we just learned. Yeah, it's going to be... 21 points of piercing damage. And, yep, a DC 15 constitution saving throw. Before before all that... Oh! P100. Oh, P100, that's right. Uh, I forgot because I was this other thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 44. Uh, let's see. Okay. That one made no sense. I'm like, wait, what? And I'm, I was still in crit fail. Uh, 44. Oh. Uh, they are somehow deafened. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'm chewing on their head. So. Ah! Oh, God. That is the worst sound of chewing right next to your ear. <laughs> Chewing on your ear. Yeah. Uh, so Iguana Head, you know, you just sort of like pick him up by the head and start. Uh, he made a saving throw, the con save, so that's good. Also, he's not poisoned. Yeah, you know, um, he is not good though. Uh, goodness, let me see. Did you say damage yet? Uh, twenty-one points of damage. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, well. You kill Iguana Head. How, how, how do you deal with this good, good boy? So I think, uh, you know, I bit last time and missed. So I lumber forward enough and, like, come up and over and clamp down on the head and then just tip my head up and... <laughs> until I swallow him whole. 
eat that iguana with all of its metal armor on, its weapon. You don't well, care. It's oh tasty. yeah, there's there's scratch the the sound of screeching on metal from the teeth, and then and then once he disappears, you hear. Brrr. Oh lord. Okay. So uh, one of the champions is down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Solaris has eaten them. Uh, so Sunspot, okay. you know what you want to do yet? Yes. Okay, how, let's do it. Well, first question is, how big is this area? It is relatively large. Um, let me see. Would it be huge sized? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say so. <clears throat> I hope so, because I'm a large creature, so I need room to maneuver. Yeah. The tea, okay. this tea party chamber is pretty huge. So since I'm not doing great on health, oh. <laughs> I'm going to polymorph into an adult silver dragon oh okay upgrades people upgrades yeah so also, I just my magic. Cat I didn't know he was under me tear lies magic washes over you as and silver go, scales wow. over your werewolf form and you're now a silver dragon very nice and that's my action so I'm just gonna kind of just chill here for now because I can't do much else okay uh so dingo head let me see if I can attack Solaris or Slurfhead. Oh, uh, they're going to go for Solaris. All four attacks, or all three attacks. Goodness, okay. Uh, so, oh gosh. What is an Antioch's AC? Let's Currently see. it's a 12 because I'm slowed. Oh, that's tr- okay, he'll hit with every single attack then. Cool. Wow. Uh, and Dinko Head is above half health do believe so he's going to deal extra damage uh so that will be thirty-seven slashing damage ow mm-hmm. all right he just spins the weapon around, whoosh, 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 hits you three times. Wow, uh, pretty good. You look Doesn't... so cute, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 70 hit points left. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My turns are the best. You know, there's a there's a Pathfinder adventure uh, where you go down into the sewers of a city and there's like a whole like colony of Autiugs that you can befriend against, ah! the, against the bad guys. It's pretty cool. Excellent. Good, good. Um, Anytime they have, like, their whole culture and everything. Like a, like, a group of animals is just the best. Mm. Um, Storkhead, he's still around. So he has to do his attacks. Uh, at the end of... Look... I'm going to use a legendary action there. Oh, no! Can get his turn. Okay, go for it. I'm going to do my wing attack. <laughs> so yeah, I okay. beat my wings and everyone, so this includes Solara, sorry. You have to make a dex saving throw. Well, Dingo made it. All right. It's a 21 see. DC. Cool. I got a five. Storkhead's going to use Indomitable to reroll. And that didn't make it any better. Uh, what did you say it was? A 25? One. 21. 21. Uh, was it a... Well, what what saving throw was it? Dex. Dexterity. Yeah, that won't do it. He failed. Okay. So... Everyone who failed takes nine bludgeon damage and they're knocked prone. And then I can fly up to half my flying speed, so I'm going to fly 40 feet and just start taking off after Arcturia and be like, get back here! Uh, so the tunnel that she went down, uh, you would have to squeeze as a as a silver dragon. I'll just get as far down as I can and then like at my turn I'll just do something okay. to get through there. But just for now, he's starting to just go after right. her. In your head, you hear telepathically timber as I get knocked prone. Excellent. Uh, so Storkhead got knocked down. This changes his plan, then. If uh, yeah, he's prone. You're gone. Stray's prone. What does he want to do here? Sunspot flew away. Sorry, Solaris, you got this. I'm gonna roll. 
Okay. One attack on Solaris, one on Dingo Head. He's got advantage because I'm prone. Ooh, um, that might not have helped. Um, one with plus nine, maybe. Dude, I've got a 12 yeah. AC. He better yeah, be able okay. to hit me. Yeah, okay. He does it. You're right. Uh, and then the other one is a. Where do you please... Yes, that'll hit Dingo Head as well. Okay. I am not rolling well on these D6s. Uh, that'll only be nine slashing damage, Solaris. Okay. Uh, and I, well, I'll roll again. Okay. He dealt a little bit more damage to uh, Dingo Head. Which Dingo Head looks like he is bloodied. So he is also knocked down in damage now. Um, hey, I'm bloodied. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, so that would take us back to Sunspot's turn, but let's cut over to Lilia. So Lilia, mm -hmm. you have not broken the wards. Umbi has dug a tunnel into the bower of the blood bag, um, who is looking at you sitting in his hammock, just kind of like, um, and he sort of pops up, presses his hand against the ward, and is like, yep, that's what can I get through. How about this? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, so <laughs> you tell me if mm -hmm. Lilia would understand if this would work. Uh -huh. If I were to put him in the in my little interdimensional space, and leave the place with that space, would he get out? <laughs> I would say yes. Because technically speaking, it's only on this plane and the ethereal plane. So you would put him into a completely different reality, essentially, and carry him through. Yeah, I would say it works. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Very clever. What, is this, what does this vessel look like? <laughs> I, mm, I don't okay. know what this item looks like. You didn't, You've never you used this before. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would say it might be because you said the heart on the staff turned to ice, right? Yeah. I would say it's probably that, like generally the actual vessel. Okay. Um, and then the. Do so you I tell imagine the the heart on it is like all broken up, so like when the port like when yeah, the port, it, like all comes. Together. I like it. Yeah. Uh, you teleport inside with them, right? Yeah. So I okay. will. I will tell. I will give Yami the instructions of what to do with this. Okay. Because the hole is big enough for her to walk through now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. <laughs> um, Great. <laughs> okay. So and you. Those are escape plans. So. <laughs> you and Alisair are both shrunk down into this. Uh, basically, it looks like the inside of uh that ice hotel uh mm. that's up north yeah. um and you know it has like ice furniture and ice pillars and stuff and it you can see outside beyond the icy walls what looks like water like like you're inside of an iceberg almost cool um and looking through one wall you see you know ice 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 on and on uh, and then like a, a humanoid, a humanoid <laughs> shape, like uh -huh. frozen, like a humanoid shape frozen in the ice. And Alisair sort of looks around and he says, uh, ah, all right. Stygia chic. I like it. We're going to unpack that one after this. We'll get back to that. And he says, well, yes, I don't want to remain in this uh, vessel, but very clever way to get me out. Uh, thank you. I. It took me a hot second, but all right. Mm. We'll get you out of here. Then we'll figure out how to, like, get the rest of them out of here because like, she is a butt. Hmm. <sighs> And says, well, I did promise to tell you where one of the keys are. Yes, please. I, I do believe there is a, a tea party that Arcturia is holding. And I do believe that with the proper etiquette, you could uh, 
retrieve one of the keys from there. This is the proper etiquette for a crazy tea party. I don't I know. know. I've never been to one. I mean, I know the proper etiquette for a normal tea party. I don't I've know. Been to a, I've been to plenty of tea parties before, but she's mm -hmm. really mean and cannot mm -hmm. host properly. You should not yes, be trapping well. your, ho your your guests in a cavern with a uh, nuclear bomb inside. Mm, well, you know, transmutation is a miraculous thing. But also quite dangerous. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're um, telling me. Now, can how, how does this minutes, work? I Do you stay in there 10 minutes regardless, or can you just like drop it when you want? I think it's when like you can get out whenever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then Yami will, you know, follow instructions, carry you out yeah. beyond the ward and stuff. Uh, probably back to the entrance to the library you know, to get away from the carrion crawlers and stuff. There's the whole battle that we don't see off screen where Thagor and Yami and Umbi the Umber Hulk fight the hill giant headed <laughs> carrion crawlers. This wall of light wavering between them. Uh, mm. It's very badass. We just don't see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it would be very cool, but we don't have the special effects. We don't have it. the budget for that, yeah. It's like, uh, um, it's like in Game of Thrones when there was supposed to be this badass battle with uh, all sorts of zombies, like a zombie polar bear. And then in the show, they just made it like whiteout conditions so you don't see anything. Ah! <laughs> uh, you it's know. The same, it's the same bullshit in like Winx Club where the girls mm. don't transform because they don't have the budget for it. <sighs> that, like that's like the whole point the whole point so, yeah you know oh we've done bad sins so nobody has magic wings now and only the I greatest bet, blah 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 it's so silly. i bet arcturia anyway. is a fan of wings club given uh the form she chose to take Makes sense. uh probably because she's a bitch and that show sucks so <laughs> i meant just in general but you know um <laughs> Also, Callie, so, I, I used to have the same mug that you're drinking out of, and it was my favorite mug, and I dropped it in college in the middle of the night off my desk with my foot. Oh. <laughs> and I cried about it too in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry to bring up bad memories with this <laughs> mug to hide it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> are able to get Alisair out of the, the warded area. And emerge, Lilia. Yay! Says, ah, freedom. Oh, Although I still seem to not be able to teleport out of here. Well, that's just Thunder Mountain for I think you. It's the, yeah, it's the whole level situation. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll get you out of here. No, no worries on that one. Um, well, that's good. You said you had some keys al already, so I, I hope I don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, anything like well, that? Well, okay, so here's the thing. There's these two genies, and they both want to get out, and they both need you to get out of their contracts. They need me? Yes, and... What do you mean, they need me? Like, emotionally? No, like, physically. I'm not very good at that. Oh. Like, they need to dr drink your blood, right? That's what it was? Yes, it was. Yeah, okay. And he says, I... How about no? I vote no. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I'm trying to figure out a way so, like, everybody can get out and we don't have to deal with that, but I don't... No. Well, what is, I've, what is I've, it I'm... with your blood that is so magical that you need... that Victoria uses you for nonsense? I'm just a very special boy. I mean, we're all special, sweetie, but, like... Oh, but I'm I'm extra special. That's not helpful. <laughs> mm. I need to know what makes you special so I can figure out a way to, like, help he, he, get he, people out of here. He takes off your hat and puts it on his head <gasps> and is going to pat you on the top of the head. Give me, make me a perception roll, will you? He stole my fucking hat! Mm -hmm. <laughs> he likes it. I got that 20. 
Did you now? Oh, well then. Yes. You noticed something. You know, uh, you didn't spend a lot of time around him. You know, he was just sort of hanging in the hammock, had his hands behind his head, doing his thing. Um, you notice that he appears to hold things weird, like when he touches them. Um, especially like when he pats you, you feel it. He looks like he's touching you with the palm of his hand, but it feels like the back of his hand is touching your head as if his hands were reversed. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why are you in that look? I don't... Sounds friendly. I'm in danger. <laughs> Which, you're proficient in what? Arcana? Yeah. How about religion? You got, got a good religion? Um, I got plus five in religion. That's pretty good. Uh, hmm. Oh, you talked to Vincent Trench, though. Yeah, I would say you you know that Alisair is clearly a rakshasa. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Disguised to look like a dude, but you know, yeah, which would explain the blood thing. They have yeah. very good uh, immunity to magic, but also the ability to just transform whatever, whenever, and basically hide the fact that they're even transformed. Hmm. Is it possible to get like a quarter of blood and like bring them a choose pouch or something? Well, they did tell you that it has to be directly from the vein. Hmm. Like you can't just have it from a juice pouch. All right, can we give one vein to each? <laughs> <laughs> like hold out either side. Yeah, Alistair like, says, a, I've Paul lost. Sorry from Baltimore by night mm. and do a threesome. <laughs> Alistair says, I've had quite enough of my blood taken against my will. I don't think I'm interested in giving anybody else blood, honestly. Right. Okay, but see, first of all, mm -hmm. it would benefit you to do so. It'd benefit because, me. Yes, because that way we can get out of here. Hmm. They both have keys. I mean, I'm already out. I can waltz on okay. out of here pretty easily, I'm sure. Didn't you not say you uh, just say you can't teleport? So how are you getting no, out of here? No, not from here. Please well. explain to me. Explain to me which direction are you gonna go that will get you out of here? Because that would be very helpful, actually. Up, I assume. And then what? This place is out. I mean, I don't. Like, As I said, like this place is uh, like mm -hmm. a magical lockdown. You understand that, right? Like you're. You're a magical I can wait it being. out. You're gonna like you're gonna get disintegrated. It's all living. Oh no no no! It wouldn't work on me. It really wouldn't. I'm I'm immune to it. You really think this thing hasn't gone off before down here? Right, and then what? Hmm. Like, is it gonna be so locked afterwards? Probably not. I, since you got how in you here, know? I don't assume so. Well, how do you know? It could be one way in, no way out. You you know, you're not selling the I should give my blood to a couple of genies very well here. Uh, how about this? I helped you get out of your... You did! Oh, and, and it's so I lovely. And I would love to have a favor... A favor? Well, we didn't agree to that. Well, okay. I mean, I can just he looks put at you his back nails and like that I, like I can just put you back into the ice castle. And that's it. You'll just be stuck there. Stuck? Is that true? Or are you lying to me? No, really, Aya, is that true? Or oh, oh yeah, no, no, I, I'm lying to him. Okay, I want you to make me a deception roll. Then. Or is she? <laughs> He's a pretty good insight. He's a pretty good deception, too. Hmm. I got... No, okay. <laughs> I got, uh, what, what, is, what is numbers? 
Got a big thunder crack outside. Oh my goodness. That's patience and early dancing. Hot. I got a 22. A 22? Oh my god. I got a 19. I thought, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he believes it. Um, he he sort of sparkle with ice. And, uh, uh, and he he like, says, whoa, listen, listen, listen. You clearly have something going on with uh, with Levistus, and that's cool. I don't want, I don't want, hey, you know, we cool. We cool? We cool. Listen, I just need you to have two dudes suck on you, okay? And then you're free to go. All right. I mean, fine. 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 You want to cut, you want to cut, and, you know, he'll drop the disguise, and you see, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like he is a tiger headed Rakshasa, though. Mm -hmm. It looks like he has a gorilla head. So he's just got gorilla head. And... You should have come here with the stripper cake. <laughs> Why? Oh, because the gorilla. Okay. Okay. Um, and he has he has you know backwards hands, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, and he he points out you should probably cut you know this side because that's where the blood actually is, the veins. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, let's go find those genies, shall we? Okay. Hmm. All right, so you're gonna go with whom? Hmm. I assume you'd go to Jeruk because you already know where he is, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The only problem is that uh, he said that it can only work on one person at a time, or what was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, him and, right? Yeah, him and, um, what's his name? Ichthaglug are both stuck in those chambers, as I recall. Yeah, yes. I, but you, I mean, if you if you look yeah. at the map here, those chambers are across the opposite ends of this Ooze River. Mm -hmm. And both of them, I mean, you don't know this about Ichthaglug, but both of them had zero interest in uh, in sharing with the other one, of course. Mm -hmm. Their music's bad. <laughs> so, like. I'll ask him and be like, mm. so to release them, mm -hmm. would they need, uh, need to, like, like, do you know if they do need to drink? Do, like, would it work on both of them? Would it, or have they not... just been lied to? I don't know. That... I'm not privy <laughs> to this contract. I don't know. I mean, you should know that, no? No, I wasn't clued in. If Arcturia is making contracts about this, that's none of my business. I mean, as you saw, she had me trapped in a room. I don't think she had any intention of uh, letting them out. Yeah, I mean, like, she had no intention of letting anybody out, apparently. <sighs> hmm. Like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to like comprehend. Yes. <laughs> like how? Uh, there are two genies in separate rooms. Yeah, they can't yes, leave the I, rooms. One of them. Is like a puzzle kind of situation? Is it? I mean. <laughs> I, no, 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 but like, it's like one of those like mm -hmm. you have chickens on one side and you have to mm -hmm. move them to the other. <laughs> yeah, you have a wolf and a chicken and a sheep. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I release one, will the other one not work? That's That does uh... seem like what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Unless you found some way to transport the blood and maintain the get it directly from the vein part of the contract somehow. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> what if we get yes. a really long bendy strap? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thagor says, that's good work. Good work. I have heard of these bindi straws. <laughs> but where would we get one at this hour in this part of Undermountain? At this time of day? Yeah. In this location in Undermountain? 
Yeah, is completely there, like, localized like... in Arcturia Doom. <laughs> is there like a? Uh, um... <laughs> I'm dying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, actually, looking at all the passages here on the map. I mean, with a sufficiently long one, I could see a route that would potentially work. Right, but I don't want <laughs> Yeah, you just need a long bendy straw, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting. Hmm. You do have Spite over on the uh, the scavenger. I mean, it's possible he might know something. Spite, can you transmute? You're... Oh, hi, How did, when did you get here? <laughs> oh my god. Hi. I'm fast. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> can you make me a giant bendy straw? I mean, I have transmutation powers unlike anyone. Uh, so, uh, yes? Like, to get blood from... We'll put... We can put him in the middle, and then we can stick two bendy straws on two sides. <laughs> in either vein? <laughs> 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 yeah, he could do that. Um he he'll tell you that <laughs> he'll tell you that um the the tentacles of the scavenger, the ship, uh you know, shaped like a squid and everything. Yeah. If you broke those off, uh they could be segmented into basically bendy straws. Excellent. Let's fucking yeah. do it. This nonsense. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, you have Yami, Thagor, and Umbri, so it'd be relatively easy to start snapping them off. Um, I'll say, while you're there, um, there is a, a, a skittering on the ceiling. Um, and a woman with a giant beetle's body with a woman's head attached on it, with a floating brain with a beak and tentacles beside her, and also a blue slod just kind of following after her um, arrive. Hello? And it's Scriana Shadow Dusk from Dwemer Core, and she <gasps> says, uh... Oh, the one that hated Arlie! Mm -hmm. And she says, oh! Who's this, Spite? Another minion? And he says, oh, well, you could say that, but I imagine No, you friends. couldn't say that. Um, we're working and... okay, well, currently together working on making the weirdest thing that I've ever created in a D and D game. I see. Well, and Scriana will she'll snap to her Grell attendant, and it will reach into the folds of its brain body and produce a slimy key, and uh, give it to Scriana, who takes it in one of her beetle hands. And uh, says, I did find a key, like you said I would, Spite. And he's like, oh, excellent. Um, you can give it to, to Lilia here. And she'll hold out a beetle hand towards you. The I will slimy brain I will key. transmute that clean, and I will take it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Her and Sriana says, her other arm so we, falls so... off. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so now we have four keys, yeah? Uh, yes, yeah. Excellent! <laughs> you don't know that, which means the only two keys are the ones with the genies, then. Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> and uh, Scriana, sh S Scriana says, I'm so full of tea and pastries that I feel like I'm going to explode. <sighs> that sounds nice. <laughs> All right, let's cut over to Patience <laughs> and Airly. Uh, so, Patience well, and Airly. Lillian cries a single tear. <laughs> um, you guys have passed out of the ballroom into what appears to be a bedchamber, I suppose. Um, but there's no bed or anything. It's just like mirrors on the wall and like various cabinets and stuff. Uh, and it looks like they're all just sort of on the walls, on the floor, on the ceiling, like gravity is just 
whatever you want it to be in this room, essentially. And there is a passage that continues on from there to like a T intersection, you can see. There's nothing in this room except for mirrors. Mirrors and wardrobes and, you know, the type of thing you'd expect to see in like a noblewoman's oh. chamber, mm. minus bed. There's no bed in here. What's this wooden cucumber over here? No. It's full of butterflies. <laughs> That's why I was uh, rumbling. Weird. Yeah. Let's let's head out of here. We're trying to find a bullet bag or something, right? Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay, so. I, mm. I just if we got that uh no, it's okay. Let's just keep going. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so leaving Arcturus Chambers is a T intersection. Um down one side you hear what sounds like uh down the other side you hear what sounds like a like a resonant sort of like hum like a of like machinery almost hmm. should we go left or should we go right <gasps> oh i know i gotta get my thing i'm gonna be right back you totally won't see me on cali's screen Gee, patience. Jeez. Oh, what should we do? <laughs> uh, patience is just checking his pockets. <laughs> hmm. Where is it? Hmm. I'm waiting to see a cat escape. <laughs> oh, the coin's already out there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> the, the coin's already out there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, you can do it, buddy. Uh, 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 oh. Looking for a coin to decision where. Let's see. Got to re familiarize myself here. Mm. There it is. Okay. Okay. So you hear the slurping from one side and the humming from the other side. Which way will it be? Hmm. Okay. So, oh, and she's gone. All right. I think everyone can hear you too. Yeah. Um, heads, we go right. Yeah. Tails, we go left. Mm. It's rock. Decision is time. Go. I got heads. Mm, okay. So that would be right, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you head down the slurping hallway um, and enter a chamber uh, that looks like, well, the, the slurping kind of stops as you, <laughs> as you walk in, um, but it looks like it has a shag carpet. Um, it looks like the walls are covered in tapestries um, that have just eyeballs on them, just boop, 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 all over the tapestries. Um, and it basically, it just looks like a, a carpet with, or a room with, yeah, shag carpet and tapestries on the walls. Doesn't look like there's really anything furniture wise in here. Um, however, there is a crystal door uh, that is across the room that seems to lead out to the north as well. Hmm. Do you think there'd be a key in here? There could have been a key in the last room that we were in. We just didn't detect the wardrobe or something. Oh, let's go check. No. <laughs> Your patience turns right around. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not going in there. No, grab. Ah, butterflies. No. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, there might be a key in here. There might. I investigate poorly because I'm patient. Okay, you can investigate, sure. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, so you're investigating. I'm looking just around seeing, seeing, seeing if there's anywhere where there'd be a key or somewhere where you'd hide things. Hmm. Well, so as you're 
looking around, you feel, you know, the shag carpet, it just like goes, your feet going into it. It's like, oh my God. Um, you also hear in this chamber, what sounds like, like the, the ambient noise that they sometimes do at like a movie theater where it's like, <laughs> around you, like people are talking, but you don't see anything. Um, what, I would like- What is this Mario All-Stars? <laughs> I would like you to make me a wisdom saving throw, Patience. Oh, I'm good at those. Hmm. 14. Hmm. Okay. I would like you to roll me a d8. Oh, I'm good at that. Oh, no. Five. Five? Okay. <laughs> roll me another d8. Let's see. Yeah. Four. Okay, so you suddenly, you know, as you're walking, you start moving like towards the southeast corner of the room, mm. like, oh, looking around. I also need you to make me a strength saving throw. Uh, we, we no longer have bless on us. That was only a minute, so I'm sure it's passed. Okay. Yeah. Um, strength. That one. Oh my God. Okay. So you start walking to the Southeast corner of the room and then you just sort of like stop moving and you find that your feet are stuck in the shag carpet. Wait, no, they're not stuck in the shag carpet. They're sinking through the shag carpet. Oh no. Er Early. Uh, what about you? What are you doing? What's going? Keep in mind she has freedom of movement on her and there's no concentration Ooh. on it. That's true. You do. I'm gonna run forward and pull him up. Oh, pretty good. Freedom of movement is is proving clutch here. Let me say Keep it. in mind that only Same works time. for whoever has it on them, not for if they're yes. trying to get somebody else out. Yeah, but if I Let's take see. you and I throw you back, reduce the target speed. This is some two in dungeon room. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So. You are completely unaffected by the the shag carpet, Airly. You can just right over it. Um, however, patience is being like sucked into it, down, uh, and he's also like confused. He's like, what? Oh, you know, sort of out of it. Is um, it I need you to the make room getting taller? Mm, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw too, uh, Airly, as you come in. Is the is not a good sound for me. 15. 15, 15 is exactly what you needed. Mm, That's a power okay. score. Yeah, it is a power score. So you are not confused by the, the gibbering of this room. Um, however, so you're gonna try and pull patience out? Yeah. You give me a strength, uh, strength check and it'll be opposed. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Not, don't say that. Because <laughs> if I roll low, uh, I'm gonna use one of my inspiration points. Ooh, okay. <laughs> sure. How many? How many indomitables do you have left? No. Uh, it's been a rough day for me. Uh, 11. 11? Oh, well, you don't have to worry. I got a four. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you yank, and you're able to uh, pull Patience out, and it looks like Patience, you actually, ooh, as you're being pulled in, actually. Hmm. Okay, no, it wouldn't have Why are my feet yet. skeleton feet? <laughs> No, but you are covered in what looks like just like saliva from where you were pulled into the, the shag carpet. Mm, gross. Uh, and then the eyes on the tapestries as you're pulling him out, they suddenly like go, oh my God. Power up. Is this a mimic colony? Mm, maybe. And they are going to do some stuff. So actually, I got to roll to see who they hit. Actually, you know what? I you know what, Jeanette? I'm going to say that because Patience is very confused. Who installed a pool under the carpet? 
<laughs> I love that I can hear your cat screaming. <laughs> yeah, it wants to be with Callie and also me. So that is going to be... Okay, so yeah, two are going to go at Airily, and then one is going to go at Patience. Let me do... Airily, one of them. And can't do that. So two. Okay. So Airily... Mm -hmm. See, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw and a constitution saving throw. Should I cast Bless? Okay. How are you moving forwards but also moving backwards? Okay. Uh... Dex is hmm? a seven. That's, oh, okay. Con is 17. Okay. All right. So the ray that was con related, it hits you and it just sort of fizzles off you and you feel the freedom of movement, even if it had succeeded, <laughs> would have kept you safe from it. Nice. Um, the Dex one, however, a sickly green beam... <laughs> fires out of one of the eyeballs and it's going to hit you uh, for some nasty, nasty damage. So let's see. Uh, did I cast an eight on you? I'm trying to remember. No. Okay, so you did not have temporary hit points. That'll be 50 oh, force damage. 50. You, you did a cast 8 on Integration rate hits you. Because I do and have then, temporary points. Uh, patience. Let's see. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw as well. Yes! Five. Oh, oh. No! Stop! <laughs> Alright, so there is like a <laughs> crackling effect that fires out of this eye and hits you. And uh, airily, you see where it hits patients. His body begins to turn to stone <laughs> as hit by a petrification ray. Uh, and you are currently restrained, patients. Mm. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. So let's cut back over to Sunspot and Solaris. <laughs> no better time. Uh, Sunspot, so you are mm -hmm. a silver dragon currently. You're chasing Arcturia down this tunnel which you can see up ahead where she has flown. Um, there's like this green glow coming out of the chamber that she entered. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how far? Like the, it narrows, right? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Um, so he's going to move as much as he can. And then as an action, use change shape to like oh. make himself back down to like his normal sunspot appearance but Got like it. with the silver dragon scales and then just keep chugging <laughs> along after her okay excellent uh so you let's see what's a what's a silver dragon speed i'm assuming it's pretty fast uh 40 feet 40 feet okay i would say you're able to get probably just about to the end of the tunnel not quite but the with just a single movement. If you want to dash, you can mm. get into the room. I can't. Changing shape is an okay. action, so I can't. Oh, dash. okay. So you can see the green glow at, at that sh into the room that she went into from where you're at. Uh, okay. Solaris, what would you like to do? How many champions are left? There are two. There's Dingo Head and there's Stork Head. I go for the closest one, but I'm still slowed because once again, I rolled a nine on a saving throw. Going to roll to see which one of you attack. Um, let's see. Uh, one. Okay, one's even, one's odd. All right. Uh, I guess Storkhead is even. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Ah, uh, Storkhead. Okay. Oh boy. All right. So I just like real, you know, slow, just lumber up and. Uh... I'm gonna actually wait. Can I get to them? I was. I have Good. to stand. I have to stand up. 
That's true. Yeah, At the I mean, there's still, they're still right there. So yeah. Okay. So I push myself up with a tentacle onto my three feet. And then the big old tentacle with the eyeballs kind of comes over, so I get a look at him, and I'm just like, Argh. uh, that is gonna be a twenty-one. That'll hit, yeah. Oh right. boy. Oh boy. Uh, ooh, fifteen points of damage. Okay. Do I do I kill him? Uh, let me double check. Uh. Yes, yeah, because he was even more hurt than Iguana Head was. Oh. So. And yep. once again, tip my head up and just swallow and continue to chew. Every person at this tea party has been eaten by Solaris, except except for Dingo Head so far. Okay, so far. So I think Dingo Head, in that case, is going to use an action to disengage. I, then... couldn't ta- I can't take a reaction anyway. Oh. Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do you know that? Let me see. You know what? Hmm. Actually. I think he's going to attack you, actually. I don't think he's going to move away. He's just going to do three attacks on you. Whatever he feels is necessary. That will be all hits. Okay. He's at half, so he doesn't deal as much damage, but that is not a good roll. That's a lot of ones. Um, four, six. So then plus 15, 25 slashing damage. From I am I am still in Atiug. Okay. So seeing that you are still an Atiug, then he is going to use his movement to move 30 feet away from you. I, uh, I, I'm I slowly chewing on this one I just am swallowing. I'm going to make my wisdom save to see if I'm slowed. Oh, a 15 versus the save. Ooh, let me see. Uh, it was Arturia's save. Yes. So that, that is difficult. Um, it is. Yeah, 15 wouldn't make it still. All right, I'm just still Gosh. like, you know, slow motion. Okay. That's uh, my turn. So then it would be Arcturia's turn. She's in the other chamber. I don't have to worry about her. Um, let's go back to Sunspot. So you were running down. What would you like to do? Would you like to move the rest of the way to the chamber? Yeah, to the chamber. Okay. So inside of this glowing green chamber, it looks like there are just... Oh, how do you even describe them? There are what look like, uh, I guess, pods, metal pods that have glass over them. And inside, there's like a green viscous fluid. Um, And as you're sort of walking past, it looks like there are bodies inside of the fluid. And... Almost all of them, from what you can see, look like Halster Blackcloak with his sort of bedraggled beard and hair, uh, completely naked like he was when you summoned him out of a shower. Uh, And, you know, you're walking along, but then you see one of them isn't Halster. In fact, they also look very familiar. They are smaller than Halster by quite a bit. Uh, they are a woman. They have blonde hair uh, and long sort of gnome-like ears. And it looks like Lilia Starbit. But that's no, no, that's not, that's not what she looks like. <laughs> mm, don't like that. Just floating in this briny green fluid in this pod. Uh, you don't see Arcturia, like, around the you know the ceiling look it looks like it's high and sort of shadowed so she could be up there potentially um it also looks like there are two pathways leading off from this chamber either way and then Mm -hmm. another chamber right across from where you came in which sounds like it's humming with like energy um Can I do some sort of like 
I guess perception to see if she's in the room somewhere. Sure. Yeah. Well, you have dragon senses too. What's funny is that the dragon has the same perception as Sunspot has when he's not Sunspot. Oh, well. Uh, 24. Yeah, that'll beat her by quite a quite a quite a bit. I rolled a, a five and a one. Oof. Um so she's invisible. Doesn't matter though. You can still sense her. Uh she it looks like she is just sort of like flying above and was getting ready to basically like ambush you. Let me I'm trying to read what all I could do as in chain shape. Mm. Okay, do any my attacks. So you know what? I'll just use my action to turn back into dragon form. Ah, like, okay. Hi. Hmm. Let me see. She's gonna say bye and point at you, and I need you to make me an intelligence saving throw. Be gone. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Wait, what's my thing again? Intelligence? Mm-hmm. Is that a 10? ten? Oh. Yep. You suddenly disappear and find yourself somewhere else. We'll get back to that. Uh, Am I still a dragon, though? Yeah, you'd still be a dragon. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it like, got rid of whatever. No, no, you're still a dragon. Yeah, okay. you're just not in the room with her anymore. <laughs> so, Dylan, quick question before you cut to anyone else. Yes. Is everybody left the room besides me at that point? Yes, they have. Okay, the, the Atiyag that is Solaris goes over to the table and starts finishing off the tea party. <laughs> because i'm slowed and i have nothing better i can do so that's what that's what the atiag is doing as yeah, uh that makes sense that scene fades out <laughs> you also hear from uh the chamber to the actually basically from all three tunnels that are not the one that everyone went down you hear what sounds like all sorts of like gooey noises and like <laughs> stretchy noises uh as meanwhile out there uh, Lilia, your team is making the world's largest bendy straws out of a spell jammer's tentacles. <laughs> you know, as you do. I um, never come to this. <laughs> so I would like, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to say you successfully made the straws. That was easy enough. Um, now you just have to get them down to where you need them and figure out how to position everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you have, you have, of course, you have Thagor, you have Yami, you have Spite, Scriana, Scriana's Slod that she enslaved, and her attendant, uh, as well as Umby Ump, the Umber Hulk. So you have a pretty, pretty good host of, uh, an Alisair, I guess, but he's part of this whole so it would have it would have to be held up at certain points in, mm. in order for the flow to go. The flow exactly, yes. Yeah. So um I imagine we would start pretty high up and just make sure that the blood is flowing throughout it. And uh mm. <laughs> we'll have to do some timing. So me and uh Yami will we will go to each one and do a one, two, three. And have each of them suck Just at the yell same down time. All. Uh, yeah. uh, so well, no, we have communicators. That's true. Oh, good point. That's a good we'll point. Just, okay. We'll just walk each other. So, looking at the map here, you basically have three routes you could funnel this through. You yeah. could go all the way around on the Ooze River, which is the longest. All right. Um... You could slip it through the Tea Party Room that Atia Wyvern, Solaris is in. Uh, you could also put it through the secret passage that you first use to get into Jeruk's chamber and then up around to where uh, Ichthiglug's chamber is, which is the shortest mm. route. You will have to contend with the ooze waterfall and stuff, you know, for that, but. 
I guess you'll have to continue with the ooze waterfall either way, but yeah, you let's know. do the short. Let's do the shortest. The shortest, like in case, like yeah. Okay. It'll be the easiest to repair because we see all the points. And actually, from there, you could get Alisair up on top of the big Halister statue that you passed, which would give him elevation. There we go. There we go. Cool. 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 Okay. Um. And then we can like hanging by his feet so the blood flows down. I'm I am not liking this plan with every word you add on to it at all. <laughs> hey, you don't have to do this. that. Listen, I once we're done, I will give you a cookie and some juice, okay? Bag of chips? Absolutely. Okay. She'll she'll pull out like what what brand of chips is there in, in, in the Forgotten world? Realms? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. The, like the first thing that came to mind was like truffles. It's just like dried truffle chips. <laughs> well, very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. I like chips were like made he would, he a would while like ago. Yeah. He would I like mean, it. Of, though. Cor of course he, he likes would. It. Mm -hmm. He's a hedonist. Uh, Oh, how about like plantain chips? Plantain chip, yeah, sure. From the Tashalar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No yawn teas. Because he's a gorilla. He's a gorilla. That's kind of <laughs> racist, but okay. <laughs> so all rock shops. They're delicious, are the okay. They are Scotty, good. Yeah. Now that you're in Florida, go get some plantain chips because they're amazing. We got, we got them. We got them. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, the straw to get to Jeruk is easy enough because you just have to wind it through the secret passage. Yeah. And he's like, ah, excellent. Just hold on for a second. We got to do some planning here, okay? Oh, I mean, I could just drink it directly. You don't have to use the straw. Don't, okay. don't worry. Don't worry about it. I like your ingenuity. <laughs> Not I don't yet. put the straw in. Oh, yeah. Not yet. I will tell you when. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, and then the other one, the one getting to Ichthaglug is much, much tougher. And I would say you probably scout it out, you know, so you know where Ichthaglug yeah. is. Mm -hmm. um, you would have to wind it down through the boot dome, around a corner, around another corner, and then up through the shipwreck uh, that the ooze waterfall is coming out of into the chamber where Ichthaglug is. Mm, mm -hmm. um, let's see. How would you like to go about this, Lilia? Yeah. I'm to... mm. Can I, can I like ice a like, mm. like, oh, like a little like uh, dome? So we can like just slide it through. Oh, to like block the ooze or like to redirect it? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. So okay. you just. Yeah. So you basically create like an ice tunnel for this straw to get yeah, yeah, yeah. put up through. And if the glug is like, oh, who are you? I ain't never Hi, I'm seen Lilia. a little minnow like you before. I'm a gnome. Mm. Minnow. <laughs> I'm here to get you out of here. Mm -hmm. You're here to get me out? Yeah. You want to patience and air these friends? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Thank you for reminding me. And she'll send a message. Uh, contact Arlie and Solaris. Mm. But she's busy, so I don't know. If yum, 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 yum. Your your like tummy just buzzes with like the mm. stone of far speech inside. <laughs> uh, but I will send Arlie a message and be like, okay, we have a plan. So uh, we, oh, I'm gonna get a key, and then we also got two other keys. So how are you guys? Because your because your answering machine as you're as you try to pull patience out. Oh okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, you can, you can answer it. I'm just I'm just saying. There's a lot going on. I, listen, I got one key from dancing, and I'm trying to. And the patience is turning into a rock. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. 
my lord. You need to get out of here! I don't know how to fix that! <laughs> Patience, you're restrained at the moment. Um, so your speed is zero. Mm -hmm. Attack rolls have advantage against you, disadvantage from you, and you have disadvantage on deck saves. However, none of that will come into effect at the moment. I do need you to make me another dex. Oh, actually, I guess it would because you have to make another dex save. Okay, so Could you have disadvantage. Oh my, that's disadvantage. That's nasty. Yeah, I never noticed that. Yeah. I stand in front of him. Well, it, see, it's the effect that's already on him, so no. Oh. My Seven. Gosh. <gasps> no. I do this. All right, so on a success, the effect ends. On a failure, you're petrified until you're freed by greater restoration or other magic. So I gotta, you are able to lift him up, but he's now a statue. I got to ask, mm -hmm. being petrified, I like to be a, a little more creative with it. Would he be mm -hmm. stone, or would you have him as some other kind of material? Ooh. Depending on the source of the petrification, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is. I was thinking, I'm like curious. hypothetically, like if someone I don't know was running Icewind Dale and someone tried Pestrification, yeah. they would turn into ice. ice statue or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Patience you know is like reaching out towards you as he petrifies. Oh no! Don't. Beautiful angel, angel statue. Pose. <laughs> this is like the fifth time. This since is ridiculous. This is, since this is Arcturia and transmutation stuff, I say you are turned into solid gold. I thought you were going to say shag carpet. No. <laughs> just, nice. I did too. Just a show. This it's, is solid well, okay. Shag Here's the thing. Carpet. It's like a little Play Doh thing. So he's made of gold, but his hair is like shag carpet. <laughs> nice. Classic. <laughs> like he's a chia pet. He's a chia pet, exactly. <laughs> um, am I allowed to do something? Sure, yes, of course. I mean, you can cry. That doesn't take an action. Yeah. Um,. Can I can I do an action? Yeah. You don't want to do. I'm going to look at my stuff real quick. Um. The source. Okay, I had to ask the the source of the petrification. It wasn't from anything undead, and technically, nope. it wasn't a spell. It was, no, it wouldn't have been. So the scarab. I can't use the scarab thing. Oh, real? That's right. You have the scarab. Mm -hmm. It specifically has to be from either a necromancy spell or the spellcaster has to be undead. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. And then you just have advantage on all saving throws against spells. Interesting. Okay. I did not know this. Yeah. I was pretty sure that wasn't a spell. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, it is a scarab of protection. If it makes yeah. it easier to find. And I didn't realize the charges can only be used on that. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be, you know, like, it's the the it's ward the when you're fighting a mummy lord or something. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, I don't think they'd be spells, unfortunately. Nope. That's weird that it only says against spells. Like, it wouldn't work with the Beholder. And that's what this reminds exactly. me of. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So, Early, what would you like to do then? If I put patients on my back, am I technically wearing him? <laughs> or carrying him? Why? Well, yes, I would say so. I'm now an object. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to treat me like one. but You don't have to treat him like one, but he is, mechanically. Mm. How, how big is this room? Uh, not too, too big. Um, one... Like 10 feet worth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to put patience <laughs> on my back. Okay. Um, and I tie off with a rope, and... Uh, when the I eyes like on the think... tapestries start to power up again. When... Okay, real quick. When Airly, mm -hmm. like, yeah. gets into that, like... I'm the beheader, kind of. I am most angry. I feel like uh, her eyes start like 
her pupils like dilate and she just becomes like a completely different person. So she puts patience on her back and says, fuck you and cast shatter. Oh, okay. Interesting. I love yeah. it. All right. So I got to make a con saving throw. I think, and, you know. Actually, God, I, technically speaking, I guess they'd be objects. So they don't get a save, do they? Mm-mm. Oh, hmm. Wait, where are you casting shatter? In the radius. Are you room. in your ra- in the radius? I'm carrying you, so it doesn't matter. It, uh, everything mm, I'm carrying doesn't. Question. Okay. Yeah, everything I'm right. carrying doesn't shatter. That's what it ah, specifically says. Clever girl. That's true. It does. I got scared. Uh, so that's automatically they take. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose they would. Okay. Uh, I. Only brought one D eight. <laughs> I only got one D eight out. Um, <laughs> okay, I need one more, but I got it. I got it. I've got another one. I got. It luckily, one. in the in the module has AC and hit points and everything. So, excellent. Um. Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, that's two eights and one six. So that is uh, 22 damage. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you shatter and the whole room shakes and you hear the carpet like squeal and the tapestries like their eyes all shut as they're just like scrunching against the pain. Uh, they're still up, but you see like Icker start to spout out of the, the carpet and the tapestries. Okay. You damage them quite significantly. Uh, and I am... Um, I, that was... That only... It's instantaneous. Yep. And um, I'm going to no. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to take patience and uh, I'm going to take patience and run out of the room. Okay. It's reasonable. All right, so freedom of movement. You got patience on your back. You've shattered. The tapestries and stuff are bleeding. You run out of that chamber. Are you going to run to the north through that new door, or are you going to run back towards the the ballroom and the weird bedroom and everything? Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to run towards the new door. Oh, okay. So beyond that, it looks like there is a like a curved corridor and it leads to what looks like a secret door with like a, a hinge that you can sort of pull it up with I'll, I'll pull it up okay so you pull it up and beyond you sort of just see that there are little gnawed bones on the ground it's like they've been gnawed by something big's teeth and then scurrying out of a little like den in this cave that you enter, there is there you see red eyes first, and then it scurries out to look at you, and you see a giant space hamster staring you down. A rodent of unusual size. Uh, and Lilia, meanwhile, you have set up this rig with straws and stuff and you figured out how to make it all work um all right yami you ready uh yes on your okay. count one Glove says wait 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 you gotta make it a beat <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh now he's like oh uh, a one two three go <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, so I would like you and Yami, we're going to do this. Basically, 
see if hmm. I kind of want to say we want to roll a dice and see if we can get the same number. That or, seems very improbable. That's a little crazy, yeah. Yeah. Um roll d4s and you have to try to both get odds or both get evens. I that makes more sense. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking that. Let's do that. Okay. I'll roll okay. my yummy dice. Yeah. Okay. Odds or evens. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We just have to get one. Yeah. Okay. What'd you get? You got a three. I got a one. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So you and y- <laughs> you and Yami synchronize. Both Jeruk and Ichthaglug start sucking at the same time, and you see, you know, fiendish blood come out of uh, out of Alisair's veins, and they both suck it down. And uh, you know, they both give a very satisfying burp afterwards. Uh, Jeruk's kind of sounds like just like gravel being. Ichthaglug's kind of just sounds like a bubble popping. Um, and uh both of them you know look at you and yami in either chamber and uh ichthaglug says hey thanks i'm getting out of here but you and he pulls out a key and he hands it over to you thank you keep on swimming baby and he turns into a puddle of water and Yami and I meanwhile wave goodbye. Yami in the other chamber, Jeruk says, Ah, that is most refreshing. Well, and he pulls a key out of his rocky body and hands it to Yami and says, Whatever you do, remember to rock on, baby. And he <laughs> dissolves into a pile of sand. Uh, as both him and Ichthaglug are released from under mountain i guess he and showed I... her his oh. gravel too <laughs> what gratitude but with gravel oh my god it's awful <laughs> oh my god well on that on that awful awful pun uh i believe that's I think, where we'll end it i think he was there. taking too much for granted uh, ah, no. well, all right so uh, thank you everyone out there who's watching. Thank you for joining us uh, for the inaugural return of Scotty's channel. I hope you enjoyed. It's you been know. golden. Oh. Petrifying. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. And immediately Shocking. we're going on break. Yeah, you know, it happens. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have a chaos pre-session next week because... Or the and, and, the, and the next week. Sweet. And the week out. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, because, wow. because <laughs> two because two yeah. people need to be with each other because they haven't been in a really long time and they need to be. It'll give it'll give all y'all time to catch up on episodes and stuff. It'll be fun. Yeah, um, and uh, if you have time, tell Dylan happy birthday on Tuesday. Yeah, oh, yes, that, that's a thing that's happening. Yeah, <laughs> um, July twenty seventh. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's go around. And let's do some plugs. Uh, let's start with the straw lady. Hiya. What's going on? Oh, What's going with you? you? Yeah. Hi. The straw lady, yeah. Hi, everybody. The sucker. Uh, my name is Aya. <laughs> my name is Aya Gonder. I have a Twitter and an Instagram and all the other places with that name. Uh, I will have commissions open until probably Thursday, um, and then just not not after that. Um, never again. Not, not never again. I'm just taking a quick, a little break. Um, so if you want to do it, do it this week. I would very much appreciate it. Um, you can get a little little plushies, or you can get digital art. Uh, you can see all of that on my Twitter. Um, you can also check out a game idea. Uh, Saffron Academy, which is on Fraction Moon D and D, which apparently is where you can get all of your like weird specific like superpower school <laughs> fixes, because there's three yeah. different games about schools that are over there. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, in my game, nothing important happened last time. It was very oh. boring. No. Nothing of consequence happened, so you can probably skip that episode. 
Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Wink. Yeah. There wasn't a yeah. great music number or anything. No, no, there wasn't no. any music by one of the other players in this or anything. No. No, sure. no, 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 no. There was none of that. Uh, no. <laughs> you can go check that out on um, Twitch or mm-hmm. maybe on YouTube someday when Vex gets around to it. Um, and you can check out uh, check it out live every other week on uh, Thursdays at 8.30 um, Eastern Standard Time. So there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. All right. Uh, Callie. Completely unrelated to anything that was just said. Uh, what do you got going on? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I am Callie, Cap Callie on Twitter. Um, sometimes I do things and most of the time I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a mood. But, but, you know, check it out. Maybe I'll do something once <laughs> in a while. Um, I am still working on the writing commissions that I've been working on for a while, so I probably won't open those for a little bit. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll open drawing commissions at some point. So I have, you know, I have off this week of school. So I'm I'm just like, what do you you like for me to do? (laughs) But uh, you can find all that uh, on my Twitter. I run a game. Uh, same week as I's game, but on mm-hmm. Tuesday on Scotty's channel, it's called Unwritten, and yeah. it um it got weird. I don't know if anybody <laughs> is gonna see it, but uh, we it got it got weird. Um, uh, there was a what lot are you of- talking about? We had a totally normal, not not. Yeah, a normal beach episode. Episode. It was, a, it was very lovely. Got Robin a pizza. River. Yeah, shared cracked a pe- open some together. Pepsi. Yeah. It was <laughs> cracked great. open some Pepsi. <laughs> Corporations, please don't sue us. I have no, apparently, like nothing stopping me from using big corporations. Like, <laughs> Callie, <laughs> Callie, I will tell you such thing. Um, like, so you can rest easy. If you're changing it and you're using it in like a different way than like it is intended or just saying the name, they're not going to sue you for it. If mm. anything, they'll be like, oh, thank you for the free branding. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you start making a lot of money, they're coming for you. That's yeah. true. If, if you would like to see uh, knockoff Muppets and knockoff Pepsi. Uh, and we got it all. <laughs> we got it all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And Publix for some reason. Yeah, also Publix is there. <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, you can check that out. That's <laughs> a strange game. <laughs> that game is hurting cats. <laughs> it really is. Uh, that's it for me. Mm, yeah. uh, Jeanette, what are you going on? Well, hi, I'm the person hiding behind the caricature today because, you know, mm. Some days you're not on camera. Uh, so you can find me on Twitter. Also, um, tomorrow afternoon, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and that would be July 25th, um, you can join us. I believe we should be playing our Skull and Shackles D&D 5e game, uh, as long as the players are all available. And um, well, it's been going swimmingly, I think. You know, things, <laughs> things are going well. Um, you know... Yeah, I like it. And then, I I don't know for sure, well, I gotta check with my players, but Tuesday night, uh, July 27th, 7pm Eastern Time, on my channel and Kenny underscore Adventures, it's possible, now that Scotty is settling in, in his new digs, um, that if we have the majority of players available, we may go back to some Call of Cthulhu in the Old West, and possibly see what's happening next. So... Um, those are the couple things that I've got going on. And then I think Scotty will talk about where you'll find me later tonight, like 7 p.m., so a couple hours from now. Hmm. Um, maybe back here. I don't know. Scotty might have something to say about it. Uh, Jamie, what about you? What you got going on? Hi, I'm Jamie. <clears throat> you follow me on Twitter. Um, we have to wait so long to find out where Sunspot is. I, yeah, right? Jeez. I know, I just realized, I was like, oh, crap, we're not playing for the next two weeks. So Sunspot's I'm just sorry. like in limbo somewhere. Uh, uh, really that's it just I mean, follow that, me on twitter at least you're not stoned that's true, true. Yeah. oh gosh saving throws, throws sunspots so cool floating it's... never play with saving throws they're they're very very 
Mm. I'm trying to even think of what she hit me with because I'm like intelligence saving throw. Mm. What is that? Uh, ba- banishment, maybe? Question, That's charisma. It? It's charisma. Mm. Mm. Well, That's why I was I so confused. We'll I was thinking, out. I'm like, where am I? Oh, <laughs> I think I know where I might be. I have an idea. <laughs> uh, Scott, how about you? What do you got going on? Well, um, hey, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome back to this crazy channel with all of our streams and whatnot. Um, as, as Uncanny Adventures was saying earlier, there is going to be another game tonight as we are finally back with um, D&D 5th Edition Ghost of Salt Marsh campaign, where the group just got done dealing with, um, wow, it's been a long time, but they've been, just got done dealing with some side adventures with a ruins with a kraken cult mm. and all this stuff. Um, so this upcoming session will be more of a downtime session. So we'll see what all the group's going to be doing before they get started on the final official adventure in the book. Ooh. And um, in addition to that, um, I, I will say I have my drawing commissions and stuff open. I'll definitely be needing it for the next month, the extra money for the next month or two, because... Um, when you move, you, there's a lot of expenses. So, but I I don't want like handouts. So if you guys mm-hmm. want any art done, um, I'm your guy. If you go on my Twitter, in my um, my profile page, I have linked to my Fiverr and a bunch of examples of my art. If you guys wanted to check that out. Excellent. Uh, all right. Well, until next time, everyone. Uh, keep being heroes. And heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gotta worry about that. I'm golden, as I already oh, said. Bye. Bye. With us. Still a Bye. Yum, it is. Uh, I know what spell it is. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs>